Hey guys, it's Mr. Boyd. In today's lesson, I want to teach you how to complete the square. Please remember to take good notes as we will be using this later to solve equations using complete the square. Also, pause the video anytime you need to to catch up on your notes. So our learning goal for today is I can complete the square for a quadratic expression. Okay, so what is a perfect square trinomial? Perfect square trinomial is a trinomial that when factored gives you a binomial square. The following are examples of perfect square trinomials with their corresponding binomial factors. x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals x plus 2 squared. x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals x plus 9 squared, or x plus 3 squared. x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals x minus 2 squared and x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals x minus 3 squared. Now, let's make some observations. Notice, first of all, that the plus sign in the binomial factor follows the plus sign in front of the b term. Also, notice down here on, another, on number 3 that the minus sign in front of the b term follows into the binomial factor. Likewise, 2 and 4, the b term determines the sign in the binomial factor. Also, I want you to notice that the second term in the binomial factor is half of the middle term each time. These two observations are going to be important to notice as we move on to writing perfect square trinomials. Okay, so let's, let's look at the steps. So step one is to take half of b, which you already know is the coefficient of the x term. Step two is to square that number and then add it to the end. This becomes the c of our new perfect square tri trinomial. So let's look at an example, x squared plus 6x. So to begin with, we're going to take half of b. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. Next, we're going to square the number, 3 squared, and add it to the end. Now notice I leave this as 3 squared, because that's going to help me write my binomial factor in just a moment. So next, we're going to write the expression in its factored form. That equals x plus 3 squared. Again, notice the 3 follows the 3, or half of b and the plus sign follows the plus sign of the b term. Okay, so let's try some examples. x squared plus 12x. We want to complete the square and show its factored form. So half of b would be 6. We're going to square that and add it to the end. So that gives us x plus 12x plus 6 squared. Notice I didn't write 36 here, only because I want to write it in its factored form. And notice the 6 follows the 6 here, and the plus sign follows the plus sign on the b term. Next, let's look at y squared plus 14y. Half of b would be 7, and we're going to square that and add it. So that's going to give us y squared plus 14y plus 7 squared. So, what do you think the binomial factor on this one would look like? Well, if you said y plus 7 squared, you'd be correct. Notice that the 7 is half of the b term again, or the 7 squared, and the plus sign follows the b term. Okay, moving on to our third example, y squared minus 10y. So, what are we going to add to the end? If you said plus 5 squared, you would be correct. Because half of 10 is 5, and we square that and add it to the end. Okay, what is the binomial factor? Hopefully you said y minus 5 squared, because the minus sign now follows the b term, and half of 10 would be 5. Okay, moving on to the last one. x squared minus 16x. 
what would be the trinomial for this one. Well, we would divide 16 by 2 and square it, add it to the end. That would give us x squared minus 16x plus 8 squared. Then the following binomial factor applies to this one, x minus 8 squared. Okay, guys, that concludes our lesson on completing the square. Uh, please remember to click on subscribe and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can download and watch uh, any other algebra videos that I've created. Thank you. Have a good day.